the livestock sector emerges as one of the top two or three most significant contributors to the most serious environmental problems at every scale from local to global. There are a few reasons why eating meat is bad for the environment and why we must spread awareness about this issue. Since 1960, we've increased the global meat consumption by five times. And sure, you can argue the reason for that fact is the population has also increased, but not with that much. The simple answer to why eating meat is harmful for the environment is a combination of land usage and greenhouse emissions, the animal agriculture being responsible for producing between 15 to 20 percent of the total greenhouse gas emissions globally measured in CO2 equivalent. According to a report by the United Nations, quote, Livestock is one of the most significant contributors to today's most serious environmental problems. But how's that the case? Starting from land degradation to atmosphere and climate changes to water shortage and the loss of biodiversity, animal food production is one of the world's leading causes according to different studies and reports. Land degradation, also known as deforestation, is probably the number one threat facing our environment. Believe it or not, about 80% of all deforestation can be traced back to the meat industry. When land is used to raise animals, precious soil and water are lost, trees are cut, and the untreated animal waste pollutes the rivers. Forests play such an important role in our environment and for good reasons. They are the lungs of the planet, plus they cool the earth, they provide food, they produce rain, medicine, and the list goes on. Because the demand for meat has drastically increased, many forests and rainforests are chopped down in order to make cattle farms. The official number claim that we have lost about 40% of the Amazon rainforest over the last 40 years. Pointless to say, this already shows a huge negative impact on our environment, from global warming to thousands of animal species losing their natural habitat. McDonald's and other fast food chains have been confirmed to have direct connection to livestock farms in the Amazon. Millions of people, animals, and plants are dependent on the future of forest areas that are increasingly being punished by deforestation. A recent documentary I've seen on Netflix called A Life on Our Planet claims that in 2020 we only have 35% wilderness left on our planet, whereas in 1937 we had 66%. We lost about 30% in less than 100 years, and that is truly alarming. Nonetheless, there are other industries involved here, but the animal production industry is one of the biggest players. According to Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, the livestock sector occupies about 30% of the ice-free terrestrial surface on the planet. Besides the issue of losing our forests in exchange for tasty meals, there is of course the problem of the CO2 emissions. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, livestock are accountable for much greater shares of some gases with far bigger potential to warm the atmosphere. The meat industry sector emits 37% of anthropogenic methane, which has a global warming potential of 23% times higher than CO2. Moreover, it emits about 65% of anthropogenic nitrous oxide and about 60% of anthropogenic ammonia emissions, which contributes significantly to acid rain and acidification of the ecosystems. Add it all up with the number of trees we're losing each year, and the result is devastating. It basically means that we're chopping down the only and most important natural resource we have to clean the air, while we're also allowing more air pollutants. The world is also heading towards a freshwater shortage problem, and just by 2025, 64% of the world's population is expected to live in water-stressed areas. The livestock sector accounts for about 8% of global human water use, mostly due to irrigation to feed crops and the water used to grow the animals. In average, it takes about 2.5 gallons of water to produce a pound of meat and about 25 gallons of water to produce a pound of wheat. More than 80% of the corn we grow and more than 90% of the oats we produce are fed to livestock. Moreover, this particular industry is also the largest source of water pollution which contributes to the degradation of coral reefs and other human health problems. The main pollution source comes from animal waste, hormones, antibiotics, chemicals, pesticides, and fertilizers that are used to grow the crops. In addition to all of that, there is of course the issue of transportation. In order for us to have access to fresh meat every day, the meat has to leave the farm and get to the shelves of your local store. And that's quite a process. Other problems may include food waste due to the short lifespan of most meat and dairy products, as well as ethical issues as factory farming shows the worst aspects of human nature. 
the bottom line is that eating meat is bad for the environment if not managed properly. That's not arguable. What is arguable instead is what's the solution to this problem. By 2050, it is predicted that the population will increase by 9 billion people, which will automatically increase the demand for meat. At the rate we're eating it now, it is completely unsustainable, and as a result of that, we will become extinct. So, how about a solution? One promising answer could be regenerative farming, as this type of farming focuses on maintaining the soil health as well as other benefits that come from healthy soil. Regenerative farming places an emphasis on chemical-free farming method, this way allowing the soil to take some of the harmful carbon out of the atmosphere and to absorb it. If you're interested in this, I recommend you follow Joe Salatin as he explains in more depth how regenerative farming can help us. Nonetheless, this alone won't be sustainable enough at the rate that we're eating meat now. Eating meat less frequently is definitely my top recommendation for you guys, as well as avoiding beef and mainly buying organic meat from grass-fed animals to support regenerative farming. I don't personally endorse the idea to stop eating meat completely, as this creates a bunch of all sorts of problems. It is very well known by now that meat is the most efficient way of getting your protein, amino acids, and vitamin B. Switching to a plant-based diet simply won't be enough for your body to get all the nutrients it needs to function properly. For a more in-depth explanation about the benefits of meat and why eating just vegetables is not ideal for your body, go watch Joe Rogan's podcast with Paul Saladino. That episode is a good starting point. Besides that, spreading awareness about this issue and creating better government policies are definitely two crucial factors to our problem. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your own opinion on this and what would you recommend as a possible solution? Please click that like button if you like this video and subscribe to this channel if you love this sort of content. This will help the video get recommended on YouTube more often and ultimately spreading awareness about this complex issue. Lastly, don't forget to share this video with a friend and stay tuned for more future videos.